And a good day, all of you. Happy holidays. Hope everyone had a great time. Jean Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition. Today we're looking at Le Chouf. Yes, there. Belgian Pale Strong Ale. Ale brewed with coriander. 8% ABV. Gets a 94 score on Beer Advocate. Yes, I got the can opener this time. No more with this. The teeth. Hey, you gotta improvise sometimes. You know, people, you got to improvise. 3.83 out of five score on untapped. So, pouring this beer right now into the glass. Looks like I got a lot more ahead than I'm getting, more than I need to. So, 8% 8, 8 ABV. You know, I was earlier talking with some of the guys earlier with the beer chat, like what beers are good for the holidays. And, you know, and we're throwing all different things, you know, blah, 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 this, that, blah, that, blah, 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 this, this, blah, 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 blah this. You know, maybe the style is probably good. You know, I remember another beer that had a lot of coriander, and that was the Bud 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 Light Golden Wheat. That was Budweiser attempt, I guess, Anheuser Busch before the merger with a InBev. No, that happened after the merger with InBev. Um, they did the Bud Light Golden Wheat, and they were trying to merge those beers together, and it just didn't really catch on as as it needed to. So. Anyway, one thing I notice right now, there's a lot of head in this beer. Too much froth. Not good for me. So, let's look at the smell. Yes, coriander. Maybe, maybe this is more of a, a wooder beer. You know, it usually has those kind of flavors. Those witter beers, those wheat beers. So coriander and all these other spices that you would think more for the fall. Mm. So mm, that's what I'm getting. I'm not gonna pour any more because I probably do I'll probably like get too frothy. But yeah, this is a lot of head on this. As you can see, too much. But here we go. too frothy maybe I could do more of this definitely get a lot of that um, coriander a little bit of spice some sip some little bit of nutmeg some slight ginger does have a nice little maybe a mild orange flavor to this. Yeah. This wasn't the same Belgian ale, strong ale that I had when I did the du Duvel 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 review. That was more really felt more like, mm, like yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just bold, really strong. But this tastes more like more like a wheat beer than anything. So yeah, that that's what I'm getting right now. A wheat, more like a wheater, wheater beer feel.
It's nice, it's decent. It's not overly strong, I will say. That's for one thing. I'm not getting that really fullness, like, like you know, ooh, there's a little booziness, like, at 8%. You know, certain beers, you will feel that right away. So... A lot of head on this. Look at this. Too much foam for me, guys. That's that's not so good as Albertino says. That's not good. So um I've seen this beer quite a bit around um even when I lived in Mobile, I seen Le Chief, Le Chef, Le Chef, Le Chef. And more in the again same size bottles in like you know four pack and it was not um I would say e I mean price wise was not like mm, I don't know I want to get this but we will see so um. Gift cards from people probably probably do see it, but you know, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, this feels like a, a winter a winter beer. It feels like a very strong wheat ale. The flavors are there. Call it a blonde, but. You know, <sighs> I'm not getting any of the hop flavor that they're mentioning in this. I, I'm very, really, I'm not tasting that, but this just feels like it's a witter or wheat ale, bit, but stronger. <clears throat> and very carbonated because it's like the third time I've had to burp during this review. In any event, not too bad. I ain't gonna go without standing. There's a sort of syrupiness to it, and maybe a fruitiness to it. So I'll definitely say that, but if I ain't gonna go high on this, this ain't outstanding. I'm gonna say. It's really good, but it again, it just feels like I'm I'm drinking a witter beer, a wheat a wheat beer that has all these other extra additives made into this to give it that kind of flavor, you know. So the coriander is very much present. And maybe they threw some allspice in this and nutmeg, as I mentioned in the beginning, but I ain't too bad. So I'm gonna go with the score of 80, 8.9. I ain't, it is, I mean, it is really good, it's enjoyable, but again, something else is just missing to this. Again, the head of this is just so much head. So frothy, as you can see, but, you know, anyway. Yeah, so 8.9. I don't like how I do these magnets. Uh, my can opener got the can top. Ain't that amazing? Amazing. All right. No more being silly. Okay, but anyway. Uh, 8.9 for Le Chouf. Le Chouf. Le Chouf. Uh, ale with coriander. I'm going to 9 because I'm tasting... It could have been higher, but I'm going to say 8.9. That's an A minus. It's just that it feels like I'm drinking a wheat, a wheat, a wheat beer, a witter beer that has, is a bit strong. And it doesn't feel like it's a Belgian pale ale. But that's my view. I'm sure you may think differently, but hey, you want to let, let your feelings show, put it on the comments on the bottom. Anyway, 8.9 score. John Anderson Pierre of the Beverage Ramble Tune. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Love, 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 love.
Mm-hmm.